Hello friends, it's Sherry. How you doing today? I hope you're doing well. I am recovering from laryngitis. You can see I almost have my voice back. So I expect it to return any moment now, but um, didn't want to miss uh, Tassel Tuesday. So welcome to Tassel Tuesday. This is a, um, you know, a collab hosted by Jovi with Creating with Jovi. And there's several participants and they will be all listed below Jovi's video today and also I try to go over sometime during the morning if I have a moment where I can get a break from work and copy and paste her list under my video plus I have a in case you want to see some past tassel Tuesdays um, I have a playlist under my uh, video in the description box just to um, you know corral all of my videos in case you need some ideas so this week you can see I'm holding here a little it's a little tassel and I had an idea. It was, um, I had to try it. I was like, all right, I had other plans, but I'm they're, they're out the window. <laughs> I had to try this because I saw this, um, not this exact thing, but something like this where someone was making, and I mentioned this before, where I saw people making um, kind of like, uh, oh, they're called banners or what's the other word for them? I can't think of it right now. Um, I'll think of it in a second and mention it if I remember, but uh, anyway, you know what I mean? A long string with little tassels and I made some like that, uh, made three that day, uh, out of fabric strips, you know, my torn sheet fabric strips. So this week I saw someone making that same thing, but out of vintage handkerchiefs, little vintage hankies. So I have, you know, recently picked up in my thrifting and I've showed them to you some beautiful vintage hankies so this was one of them and so i did a little test drive here on it before i turned on the camera and i think it turned out super cute and i actually tried it out on the current journal that i'm working on so i'll show you this is my cookbook journal i'm working on i showed it to you yesterday or was it yesterday yeah in my it was in my um whatchamacallit <laughs> wrecked this journal video and I showed you this where I was working on it and I did sewing the pages last night so I'm going to do a video where I am on this journal maybe next but um see look how this would look on its side see I just paper clipped you know a little paper thing paper clip thing I like trick I showed you a couple weeks ago and um you know if we really don't have a place to hang uh, you know, a special place to hang a tassel. You can just use a little paper clip, slip it over one of your signature. Like I use uh, cardstock on my signature covers, so that's a good strong place to slip a paper clip in. And there you go. You have a pretty little uh, hanky, vintage hanky tassel hanging from your journal. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> I was like. When I saw it and I had the idea today at work, <laughs> um, I think it was at work today, where I was taking a break, you know, I have to take a break once in a while, right? And uh, <clears throat> yeah, I had to try it. So um, we're going to make one, at least one together, so I can show you how I did it. So let's start with this pretty one. So this one just had a rose, or I guess that's a rose, you know, one rose in one of the corners and the rest were plain. And the whole hanky had this trim, okay? So, <laughs> this was super fun, let me tell you. So let me see, this hanky looks like it's pretty much the same on all both sides. See how it's so colorful? I don't know, I don't know which side to choose. I think I'll choose this side. So you fold it into a square, and this one has a pretty, see the scallop border? We're gonna see how this turns out because that was only the first one I ever made. Let's see how this one does. So, okay, I'm folding it into a square, but this one has a different, see how it's not a square? Okay, but we can still do it because this is gonna be so pretty. So on that one, see I have two different sizes of these book rings or loose leaf rings. On that one, I use a smaller one. So I'm gonna use a smaller one again because I got these, well, I got my whole box out here, but I wasn't sure if this would be too small. This is like one, a one inch one, I think. Let me see. 
it might be three quarters of an inch just in case you're looking to order these or something I may have them in my Amazon store well that measures um, it's like the whole thing is just on the notch here uh, under the one inch mark so I would imagine it's one inch uh, really so um, yeah the one inch and I just kept it together so that the part that comes apart in case you did want to open it you know these open like that so in case you did want to open it I want that at the top and so you fold it in your square in a square have your focal point here like if I had I had the rose here for that one this one doesn't have it's all over pattern so then I just put this little point through here and you got to pull it down enough to have a little piece to grab here so see I have about an inch or so maybe an inch and a half or inch and a quarter pulled down there and then you just gather it like a tassel you know pull kind of pull it down there because it's gonna be like that okay and now I got to find a piece on this I used a pretty piece of ribbon to tie it and I tied it kind of tight because I wanted to make sure it wasn't going to slip loose now you can't pull on it or anything because then it might slip out I don't know I didn't try it I didn't pull on it but uh, why would you pull on it right <laughs> why would you pull on it you're just going to use the ring to handle it right once you get it together so I have I want to keep that little split part at the top so let's lay this down and look for something pretty to wrap around okay so I have Baker's twine you could use Baker's twine I have all my little scrap pieces of fabric and I'm looking I don't see anything I kind of want since this is such a pattern piece I kind of want a solid something solid so Baker's twine lace or I have all my GS Mueller um, you know fibers here and I wanted to have those handy in case I could see something in here that here's some pretty gold that would look pretty on there you know, I haven't used any of these yet so I'm kind of I was saving them I'm saving them for future tassels but um, I thought that here's a gold one here here's a pretty gold one right here that's kind of like this one I put in fact this might be from G GS Mueller I just pulled it out of my scrap bag there but it might be from her too left over from last week or the week before so um, this looks like a more solid gold here although it looks like it is a little bit shaded so let's look at this one this is the ice gold pack if you're looking for fibers and you like this one is you know I'm always amazed when I pull these out of the package <laughs> they're so pretty but um, let's see where it starts here okay there it is so see uh, let's see I think this would just add a beautiful finishing touch here even though this is kind of sparkly I think that little bit of bling would be pretty on here and I didn't use that long of a piece on there but you want to have a piece of long enough to <clears throat> wrap around maybe a couple times and to tie a nice bow and this was like I said a scrap so maybe I want to try this one and have some to hang down right so I'm gonna pull off a good amount here and see how we do with this one okay so I'm just gonna cut it here and just I go ahead and cut it at an angle so we have a nice little point there and we put this out of the way and then I just placed it under let's see does this have a top or bottom not really I don't think so then I just placed it over my little piece that I have pulled down you know kept it together placed it in the middle and there we go I'm gonna make this even and then I'm just gonna let's see let me see if I'm gonna do this right I'm not sure if this is how I did it yeah this is good see now I pull, I'm pulling it tight so it's going you see how it gathers it in and makes your tassel kind of forms your tassel your hanky tassel it gets it all kind of you know together and makes it look more like a tassel kind of like ruffly there so I'm going to wrap it around again here so bring that to the front and bring this one to the front okay and then I you know I like a bow you could just tie a double knot here and be done with it right but you know I like a bow 
I just like a bow. <laughs> it just finishes off nicely, doesn't it? So, um, nice and long piece. So, I guess, I think I'm going to tie one more knot here since I have plenty. And then I'll be sure that that is secure, you know. In case my bow comes out, then this won't just fall apart, you know. Like, say my bow came out. Now I have a double knot. I can just retie my bow. I won't have to worry about this coming undone or, you know, getting loose. So, double knot. And then I'm going to tie a little bow. And see how it looks. I mean, isn't that simple, but so cute and pretty. And a way to use if you've brought some, you know, somewhere along your thrifty adventures, whether on Etsy or wherever, thrift store, and you've bought some hankies and you didn't know what to do with them. Here you go. <laughs> Here's an idea. And, uh, yeah, I didn't know what I was going to do with these when I bought them. But I had this idea today and I was like, oh my goodness, I have to try this. So, isn't that cute? And look how, see how it hangs with a different type of, um, different type of, you know, shaped handkerchief. And so when you put this on, so you want this little double part to go into your journal. So you put it on here on your paper clip, or you can use a binder clip. You can use, um, a bulb pin, you know, just depends on how you want to hang it. Then you bring it to the top. Okay, bring it up to the top. So this is going to hang out like that on your journal. Let's see how this one looks. Here's my journal again. Let's stick it in here. And we'll see how it looks real quick. And I'll see how much time I have left. Because I have a couple more hankies here. And maybe we can make one more. One or two more. Okay, so yeah. There we go. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> I mean, what do you think? Let me know what you think if you're going to try this, if you have some hankies. Or maybe you're going to go buy some hankies now. <laughs> I mean, it's different, right? And cute. You know, look at look at from the front. It adds a nice little um, different touch to any journal, I would say. So that one is adorable. <laughs> I love it. All right, let's see. So I have, I want to try... Um, a, I just had this one out too. This is a beautiful kind of, you know, one solid color one. It has beautiful little kind of rhinestones in here de decorated on this one corner. There's nothing wrong with this one. It does have a little bit of something, a couple specks right there. Oh, it has a little bling there too. Oh, it has a little one piece of bling in each corner. Looks like that one's missing. Yeah, that one's missing, but these two still have their bling. And this one has a bunch of bling. There's one piece missing there. But the perfect thing to use for this craft, right? So, again, we're going to fold it in a square with our focal point here. Let me take a quick drink. I'm trying to hold myself away from the camera so you don't hear me swallowing. I hope you didn't. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing. Okay, so there you go. There's our square. So what you do... In case you did, couldn't see it well with the little scoffed edge one, this is a good square, so you can see this really nice. But you, um, here's a thread here, I think. Was that a thread or a fiber? Yeah, I don't want any extra fibers in there. So, yeah, you just fold it kind of like this. This one's easier to see because it's not scalloped like the edges on that one. So you have kind of like a little burrito or something here like that. I believe that's how I did it, the first one. Let's see, is that too big? Let's make the, the burrito a little bigger here. I want to see my front focal point here. Okay, I think that's good. I think that's how I did it. And then our split ring. See, split at the top. Okay, so let's put another string or a thread here. Let's make that thread. Yeah, I washed, I washed washed all of these when I brought them home, so they're not dirty or anything. They just have little threads on them. Okay, so then we're going to poke this through like this. And we have our little piece that we're going to, we're going to fasten. Oh, I think I'm doing this wrong. <laughs> Let me see here. Oh, yeah, it's right. See? See how it is? Okay, yeah, it's right. 
it kind of threw me off there with the, the two things down here. Okay, yeah. You know, I just I just did this for the first time tonight, so got to remember how I'm doing it. Okay, so you got your folded over piece from in, you know, the piece folded through the ring. I just want to get this situated here so everything is going to go together. Okay, so then we're going to see what kind of fiber we want to use on this one. Now, this is neutral. So we probably want a neutral. These are kind of silvery looking, the, the bling, the rhinestones. So again, a neutral piece of lace would be really pretty. And I have this lace here that I recently picked up at a thrift store. It is neutral. It says flat lace. I have not opened, it's never been opened, but you can see this package looks, it was $1 for 10 yards. I don't know how long ago. This kind of lace was $1, but uh, I think it's been a while. See, there's a lot on here. Right, that's just some packaging. Okay, see how pretty that is? Okay, let's get a long piece. Oh, I didn't check my time, but I think I have plenty of time. Oh, this is pretty. Let me show you. I haven't seen it out of the package myself, so isn't that pretty? Yeah, so let's cut a piece. Again, I'm kind of just guesstimating here on what I'm going to need. That piece was plenty long enough. In, ca in fact, I might trim it a little bit on the last one. So let me see. I'm going to cut a little, get a little angle there. Now, I like how that one worked out. So I'm just going to do that again. Kind of start here. I think, did I, no, you know what? I started in the back, didn't I? Started in the back. Let's do that again. I just really like how that one turned out. It kind of turned out pretty perfect. So. Okay, so there we go. And we're gonna, oh, I wrapped it around a couple times. Okay, I pull it tight. See how it's wrapping there? I don't want, I want that these two wrapped kind of toward the back and not toward the front like that, okay? I want them to gather, like show me a gather. It's a little bit hard here on <laughs> this one, I don't know why. Probably because I'm on video, right? Okay. Oh. Well, the best laid plans. <laughs> All right, so you can watch me fumble around, and then uh, when you go to do it, it'll be easier, right? Okay. So I want these to be kind of folded to the back. Okay. Fold this down. Have plenty there. See, I have plenty of room in between my design and this so I should just not hesitate on pulling this back a little further and it'll make the task the, the part that hangs down a little smaller but I have plenty of room to grab in the back so yeah and I need to turn my little thing around so that the, the uh, opening is at the top okay I want this see this little how this has a little bit of like fringy look there on the bottom of this lace I want that at the bottom because it just looks like it's supposed to be at the bottom to me so um, then I'm going to try to get this even now. See, I've got more in the back now, so I feel like it's not going to come apart. I want to wrap this around. And yeah, this one's a little bit more fiddly. I want to wrap this back. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that. And kind of want to pull this down tight. Okay, everything tight, so I don't have a big kind of bulky, I don't want it to be too bulky at the top. Okay, now I'm going to wrap it around, pulling, still pulling it tight. Okay, I'm pulling it pretty tight. See, it's coming together. Okay, now I'm going to tie my double knot. It's going to be pretty, guys. <laughs> this is going to be adorable because, I don't know, you know, if you like neutral things, you will love this. I, I'm loving it right now. Of course, I like colors too, so <laughs> I, lo I love all of them. Okay, so there's one knot. This lace is beautiful too. It goes perfect with this. Okay, this. There we go. Double knot. See how it came together? Now I can kind of like shape it a little bit, I think. Maybe. Let's see. I mean, it's perfect the way it is. So I'm kind of, I'm going to leave it alone. I like it like just like, just like that. I'm going to tie a bow. Gonna tie my little bow. Wasn't this fun? Oh my goodness. 
This one's a beauty. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? What do you think? Let me know. That is so pretty. Now, see, you thought it was boring before, right? With the neutral, maybe you didn't. But if you did, now look at it. It's a beautiful thing. And if you have a neutral journal or a grungy journal like this, <laughs> wouldn't this look pretty? Okay, let me get a paper clip. I wasn't going to try this one on here, but I have to now that I have it together. Okay, what did I say? Put it on. Bring it to the top and slip it onto one of your little covers of one of your signatures. At least that's how mine are with the cardstock. That's how I've been making mine lately anyway. Okay, so let's slip it on here and see what it looks like. Oh my goodness. <laughs> First of all, let's look at it from the side. See, it would be hanging down. Isn't it cute? And look at this. So cute. I am loving this idea. I know what I'm going to be doing with all my hankies from now on. <laughs> so let me see what time it is. I'm just having too much fun. Uh, but I have like, I don't know if I have enough, enough time to make a whole other one. So I guess I'll just stop here. But see, here's the three we made. Let me show you up close. The neutral one we just made. So pretty. <clears throat> This is the scalloped edge one, so I made for a nice little, you know, kind of different uh, hanging one with the different levels there. Super cute. A bunting, that was the other word for, for um, a banner. I was trying to think of bunting. People, it was, um, I think it was more of a bunting that they called it on Pinterest. And this beautiful one with the rose. So the other one, the other hanky I had here which we don't have time for, is just this one. See, it's white with a blue outline here, a little blue um, embroidered border, and this pretty blue embroidery here with white and blue flowers. So that was gonna be my next one. I might go and sit here and finish that one. And uh, I am gonna put these in my shop. So when you see this video, they'll be in my shop. And, uh, you know, if you need one, you can pick it up. So thanks for watching. Uh, I have a bunch of hanky, so I'm going to be making some more of these. These are so cute. Thanks for watching. Hope you got some good ideas. And uh, let me know if you're going to make some. Thank you for watching. Happy crafting and happy tassel Tuesday.